Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. Today we're going to take a look at the evolution of Team Vinyl Tupe Racers. Krusty Rodor from Cars 1, Rev Rodages, and Will Rush from Cars 3. Before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. <clears throat> Throughout the years of the Piston Cup, there had been a generation of Team Vinyl Tupé racers with the traditional number 76 and the traditional black interior on the top, but with some changes to the exterior colors. There's for the sponsor, starting with lavender from white from lavender and black from white wood blue and black and and finally purple gold and black and now without any further ado Let's dig right into the review and retrospective for each one of them. First, we're going to start off with Krusty Rodor from Cars 1. <clears throat> Krusty Rodor is a Stoggy Swaver EX Piston Cub Racer who bore the number 76 for Vinyl 2 Bay. Starting from 19, started from 1986, and during his appear, he also, and although he's a stocky swaver like Murray Clutchburn and Floyd Mulvihill, he shares the same diecast body mold as Claude Scruggs. Despite that, Scruggs is a Husker Morocco. During his appearance in the first Cars movie, he was one of the racers to participate in the Danico 400 of the 2005 Piston Cup season at the Motor Speedway of the South, and was also one of the racers to get involved into the multi-car wreck caused by Chick Hicks. And although he got involved into the wreck, he was able to finish the race and hasn't been seen since. And during his diecast releases, he was released a number of times as a single in in a in a two pack with Floyd Mulvihill and in multi packs. And now without any further ado Let's dig right into the review. Here we got his angry determined facial expression, his lavender exterior paintwork, his black grill, gold number 76. And on the hood we got the vinyl tube logo. And on both sides we have the black rims on the black wall light your racing tires and the exhaust pipes and a green spray can the vinyl tupe logo and a bit of purple background and with a gold number 76 and several contingency logos saying Pistic Cup, Nitrate, Revolting, Octane Gang, Mood Springs, Vitaline, No Stall, Gaskets, Gasprin, Easy Idle, RPM, Low Torque Pistons RPM, leakless, and leakless retreading clutch aid, and the gas cap. And on the top, we have a gold number 76, no name signature. And on the back, top back, we got a, a green car with black on the top getting sprayed by a green spray can. Oh, and I also forgot to mention the slogan right here. What's it? 
what's it saying here? It says vinyl for in a can, I think. And on the back side, we've got the DuckTales spoiler and the vinyl toupee logo in the middle with a purple background and the red taillight stickers with a gold number 76 on one of them. And on the back bumper, it's, it's the slogan, another slogan, she'll never notice. And on the undercarriage, it says Disney slash Pixar made in Vietnam, Mattel. And that is it for Krusty Rodor. Up next are the two out of three from Cars 3, starting with Rev Road Ages. Rev Road Ages is an Axello Fission EA Piston Cup racer who bore the number 76 for Vinyl Tupé, and he also shares the same body mold as Brick Yardley. During his appearance in Cars 3, he was one of the racers to participate in the Dynaco Light 350 at the Motor Speedway of the South of the 2016 Piston Cup season. Later on that season, when Next Gen Racers started dominating the Piston Cup circuit, he was one of the remaining veteran racers to participate in the Los Angeles 500 of the 2016 season at the Los Angeles International Speedway. Then in 2017, before the Florida 500 of the, of the 2017 Piston Cup season at the Florida International Super Speedway, he was dropped out by Final Tupé in favor of a next-gen racer named Will Rush, which we'll get to Will Rush later, and he hasn't been seen ever since. During his diecast releases, he was released one time, a few times, one time as a single in 2018, and twice in the Pist in two versions of the Piston Cup Race 11 pack for 2020. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Here we got his happy facial expression, his white exterior paint work, his grill, working headlights and gold number wood number 70 brown number 76 and on the hood we've got a bit of we got a blue and wood background and a dark brown vinyl tupe logo saying vinyl tupe the for can of a let me see Vinyl Tupé Fine Vinyl of a Fine Vinyl Top in a Can in Estimated 1986 And on the back side we've got the gold number 76 and a bit of brown the Lightyear logo on the front fenders, the black wall, ri black rims on the black wall Lightyear racing tires, and black air at the bottom indicating a pity to lift him up, and black tiny dots at the bottom, vinyl toupee logo in the gas cap, a few contingency logos saying Piston Cup, Vitaline, Revolting, RPM, Nitrate, Octane, Gaining, Clutch Aid, and on the top we have a bit of, we have the black, no name signature, just a brown number 76, and on the top back, we've got the Vinyl Tupé logo saying Vinyl Tupé, fine vinyl in a can, estimated 1986, and a bit of blue and brown background, and a white ducktail spoiler. And on the back side, we've got the red, tail, red working taillights and the bit blue and wood background, and the Vinyl Tupé logo saying Vinyl Tupé, Fine vinyl in a can, and a, a and a camera in the very middle, 
Now on the back bumper we have a blue and wood and a gold number 76. Oh, and on the right side we've got the the exhaust pipe. And on the undercarriage it says Mattel made in China Disney slash Pixar. And that is it for Will, I mean, Rev Road Ages. And finally, last but not least, is Will Rush from Cars 3. <clears throat> Will Rush is a next-gen Piston Cup racer who currently bears the number 76 for Vinyl 2 Bay. And he also shares the similar body mold to Danny Suarez. During his appearance in Cars 3, he was one of the racers to participate in the Florida 500 of the 2017 Piston Cup season at the Florida International Super Speedway. And he hasn't been spoken, and he hasn't spoke and in the film. And during his appearance, I mean, during his diecast releases, he was released twice one time in a single for 2021 and in a two pack for 2024 with Tim Treadless. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Here we have his worried facial expression, his metallic purple exterior, the working headlights and the black grill, the gold at the bottom, and a and on the hood we've got the newer vinyl tupe logo in white and yellow with a on a blue triangle and on both sides we've got the exhaust pipes and the dark gold arrow at the bottom indicating a pity to lift him up and the gold at the very bottom and the gold number 76 the few contingency logo saying piston cup combustor carbon cyber and synergy the and the gas cap and the vinyl tube logo and the purple rim purple rims with gold trimming on the next gen black wall light year racing tires and the black at the top no name signature and on the black flat spoiler we've got the vinyl tube logo and on the back we've got the red working taillights and the vinyl tube logo in the middle and a gold number 76 with a and blue lines and the gold rookie stripes indicating that he's a rookie and the metallic gold at the very bottom and on the undercarriage it says Mattel Disney slash Pixar made in Thailand And that is it. So what do you guys think? Which vinyl toupee racer is your favorite? Well, my personal favorite now is Krusty Rodar. Let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Oh, and I also want to remind everybody that tomorrow at 2.30pm is the NASCAR Cup Series USA Today 301 at New Hampshire Motor Speedway on USA. But anyhow, but other than that, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye now.